Hey guys, Nick here and this is Nick Creation Channel. So for today, we will be talking about Drunk Robots. So this is an action-packed NFT RPG powered by BSC. So players will become part of the futuristic and fallen city of Lost Machines wherein it is inhabited by the drunk robots and drug addicts. So the only purpose of the inhabitants of Lost Machines is violence and drinking. So users will have to find their place in this futuristic hell after purchasing one of the 10,101 unique drunk robots nfts this will be interesting and cool so we will know more about this project as we move along so what makes the game interesting and impressive is that they have come up with variety of gaming activities both p2e and f2p such as pvp modes taking f2p mini games which are already launched and which you can play right now there is no need to wait for its release Alright guys, so the project is really interesting and impressive as they have already launched all of their games. So if you go to their website, so you can see here that it's already a play to earn and you will be able to see more of the details here so you can see their contract address here for the metal which is one of their tokens and then you will see here the games that they have so they already have the pvp mode, drunk race, mini games and scavenging which are already launched ready to play and going down to their website you can see here all their partners and a lot of this are really known like for example the animoca brands which is known for supporting a lot of big projects in the crypto space we can see here the gate.io the zv.com shima capital a lot of partners here like binance nft where they launch some of their nfts you can see here the ggg the polygon studios yggc the infinity ventures crypto oig avocado dao and so on one of the coolest things that they've done in their project is that they recently had their ido last april 7 and it was in three platforms like the gamefi liquidity and trustpod and then after that ido they've also launched their tokens on pancakeswap and gate.io wherein you can copy the smart contract address here here in their tokenomics you'll be able to see all of the demands of their token coming from the purchasing pvp mode victory rewards season rewards and rank based farming items and robots trading on the marketplace farming process and then you can also spend like for example farming unit upgrade trading uh, junk purchase pvp mode squad slots unlock and opponent reroll items and robots trading on the marketplace equipment level and rarity upgrade and then for the junk tokens they have container purchase raffle ticket purchase equipment upgrade so all of these demands and activities are luring the game guilds to support this project and then below you can see all of the allocation from the in-game liquidity which will be at 68.9 percent and then team allocation 13 percent private allocation 7.2 percent and the rest are less than 10 percent right or five percent so if you want to learn more about it so they have prepared a medium article about their tokens and tokenomics and you can read further here right of course just take note that their main token is metal all right what's also a rare indicator about how developers are treating their community properly is that they've come up with this tool so with the attempt of building a strong community they are involving their members in the creation process they help the newbies in terms of getting onboarded and feeling valued in the project so they have this tool wherein everyone can suggest their ideas and everything is transparent in terms of the things that are under consideration planned in progress and what are the features that are getting released all right guys in terms of their collection so they've actually sold out an entire collection of 10,101 robots on liquidity and also made a sale on the binance nft marketplace by selling the entire collection of 500 containers per day and raising the floor price 
three times while entering the top three collections on Binance. As a result, they have sold out their entire collection for about $3 million which will allow them to keep the sustainability of the game development, maintaining the game resources and the token value. Or yes, when we go to their Discord channel, they have around 24,000 members. Their commitment is to provide support 24 by 7, provide the recent updates, and the development of the new game activities. So since we've checked their Discord channel, let's go to their Twitter account. So they have 65,000 followers. While they have strong partners, this project is being delivered by a strong development team which are experienced from Ubisoft, Wargaming, Sony PlayStation, Plur, as well as those people who worked from Lineage 2 and Halo online. Now let me talk about the high level information to prove that the project is legit. We are now moving on how to start playing the game. So coming from their website so we can go to the play now and then of course we need to sign up our wallet. Okay so after creating your account of course you have to verify it your email address and of course so once you've verified it then we can already log in. So now that we are here, of course, we will go back and of course, we don't have robots here, but we can go to the games. What we can also do is to add tokens, add funds here, but of course, it will only be possible once you bought their tokens through PancakeSwap and Gate.io. Alright, so since we don't have robots, NFT now and some tokens, we can focus on the free to play games wherein they have to. The first one is the knockout mini game. So it says here that it's a browser based survival game where the robot named knockout have to shoot down all other robots. And then the other one is the F2P mini game, which is an endless runner about a robot girl named ninja who robbed the bank and now has to run from the police across the city so overcoming various barriers so it will just be like a runner all right guys so we've got information that if you play the knockout mini game and ninja mini game you know that i really like you to play so you can win up to 10,000 metal tokens and it will only be possible if you will be able to get into their leaderboard. So if you get, I think, 100 plus points here, there's a chance that you'll get airdrop. And then here for the knockout mini game, you have to be part of the top 10. So the leaderboard is resetting every Monday. All right. So before we talk about the other games above, so we can try some of the games here. So we can check this ninja mini game. Let's try it. So jump, face, and then left control for slide, and then escape for the pause. So you will see how noob I am. All right, guys. So let's try to play this. So these are the metal gears for the silver one point, and then for the gold that will be plus two points. So you can see here how. So you can see here the quality of their game. Slide jump slide jump slide jump all right so that's it so we only got what we've got nine points that's how noob you are you can go back to the website but of course we can check the leaderboard so guys imagine they're able to get 697 so you just need to get 100 points to get metal drop all right guys if you want to play that you can try it so for the knockout game let's try it so you can see here the mini game so i think you need to kill kill them all all right <laughs> Why am I? all right we're out easy as that so it just Seven point. Let's try let's try. Alright guys. That's how noob we are. So you can also try the game. So for the PvP arena, so it 
tells here that you can join the Furious Battle with other robots, gather your squad, which can consist of up to six robots, and show the enemy what you're capable of. The winner will be rewarded with lots of metal, beautiful robot girls, and tons of beer. Of course, it will require a robot before you play it. So here, from the liquidity, so you'll be able to buy a robot here. For the lowest price, it's what? 1,652. And the price of their token is just around 2 pesos. So if you are interested, go buy, guys. So it will be around, let's say, 3,000 pesos for the cheapest. All right. Another option is to buy a box wherein you can try your luck to get the other rarity. So how much is that? That's 15,000 metal. So there are still 985 available. So this will be around, let's say, 30,000 pesos or 600 US dollars. Okay, so if you want to know how to play this, so there will be like six slots for every player originally. It will start with one so you can unlock or by purchasing the other slots and then for the front i think it will be like melee weapons and then for the back line so it will be ranged weapons in order to put a damage with the opponents right so if you are familiar with the mirror up so i will share this in the description so you'll be able to check here the attack flow and the uh, receive damage flow for your reference especially if you're playing the game all right guys in terms of pvp mode the roi can be computed by thinking that the floor price is only around 60 us dollars and then every day you can earn around 175 metals but of course it depends on your division and rating so possibly you can earn around 3510 metals which is around 105 us dollars all right guys the next game is a drunk races wherein you can see here that they are trying to collect more metals with the use of the cart and of course the nft robot so you can also use the nft that you have from the pvp for this game and you need to buy a cart from this link so this is also part of the draft robots but under the racing and races so you can connect your wallet and buy some part and then for the roi of this you can earn around 120 metal tokens per day and it can give you around 3600 metal tokens per month and that can be around 100 us dollars based on the current price of the token so as you know the minimum price of the robots is around 60 us dollars so maybe you will still need to grind a bit of more time because you will also buy a cart for this game all right guys and lastly we have the scavenging so this is as simple as staking your nft but currently you cannot earn some metal tokens here but you can read here that there's a possibility that you can scavenge junk tokens which you can spend in a close auctions at the local block market by purchasing special containers with equipments or weapons all right so i hope these are all helpful information for you guys so we have covered all of the important things we're looking at to check if a project is legit we will also look at some of their free-to-play games to check like how they've designed the gameplay the graphics for their games unfortunately we're not able to check the play to earn games because we don't have nfts but at least we've informed you that there are multiple play to earn games when you purchase their nfts and if you join their community so guys what do you think about this game do you have any questions about this so if you have any questions put it on the comment section and i hope that you can also smash that like button if you like this video of course please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more nft games metaverse launchpad reviews and all other crypto projects thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye bye